Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 tutorial. Guys, this one, I'm going to show you how to do intelligent upsampling or low resolution to high resolution by increasing the size of the image, yet being able to keep a lot of the details. So we're using a new technology that's been sort of in production for a little while, and it's not quite 100% there, but it's pretty goddamn, pretty darn good. So let's just go ahead and look at this. First step here, you'll see I've got a low resolution image here of just me at doing my stand-up comedy. I'm a comedian uh, when I'm not doing youtube -y stuff. Um, and uh, telling jokes, and here's the thing. If I go to image, image size, let's go up here. We're going to go up to image, image size. You're going to see here that this is 500 by 500, which is fine, but it's not really high resolution, right? This isn't exactly uh, a DSLR picture, if you know what I mean. But uh, what we want to do is... And here's the normal thing. I'll, I'll, let's just discuss the normal way. If, if I wanted to make this like a high-res picture, normally you go in and you would just increase it, right? So instead of 500 width, I'd go 5,000 by 5,000. And when you do some... Oh, geez. Let me put in the 5,000 by 5,000. And when you do that, you're basically upsampling, but you're not going to get the... Um, you're not going to get the, the nice resolution. You're not going to get like the crisp... Uh, clean look that you get in the lower here. So, I mean, you could just look at this here, right? Like my my eyes and my face and all that is pixelated. And when you look closer, we've got resample set to nearest neighbor. Now, I'm going to click out of that because if we did that, I'm just going to click OK. And then we zoom in. Yeah, it's pretty pixelated, right? It's like 1988 video game type stuff. So I'm going to Command or Control Z to undo that. What you want to do, though, is you want to go, if you're on a Mac... Go up to the top here, go to Photoshop, and go to Preferences. If you're on a PC, at the bottom here, you will see Preferences. But either way, you want to go to your Preferences. Drop it down. I'm on a Mac, so I'm obviously going to go under Photoshop, Preferences. And at the bottom, you're going to see Technology Previews. Under Technology Previews, I've already skipped the line, but if you go all the way to the bottom, Technology Previews, you're going to see Enable Preserve Details 2.0 Upscale. This is pretty new, and again, it's not. it may be checked for you by default, depending on uh, what version you have and what your uh, settings are. But either way, make sure there's a check mark beside Enable Preserve Details 2.0 Upscale. And if you hover over it, you'll, you'll be able to see that it enlarges your images with the help of artificial intelligence. And the boys and girls at Adobe have doing some, been doing some pretty good stuff with AI lately, let me tell you. So go ahead, click OK. Now the next step here is I'm just going to zoom, I'll zoom to about here. We're going to go back to that image size. So go up to image, image size, and we're going to go and create it to 5,000. So we're going to make this image gigantic. Oh, okay. Well, let me just do this correct. 5,000 by 5,000. So it's a 10x upscale or 10x increase in resolution. Um, here it is though. It's on the resample, instead of having it set to nearest neighbor, or yours might be set to automatic. And automatic's actually not too bad now in the latest CC 2020 uh, version, as you can see here. But let's go back to nearest neighbor. This is what it was default set for me. Um, so from there, instead, you want to go to preserve details or preserve details enlargement. I'm just going to go to preserve details 2.0. And when you do that, you automatically see that as I move it around here, around my eyes and stuff like that, it doesn't have that blocky, pixelated look, only when I move it. But when I stop, it has pretty smooth look. Now, you can also see down here that there's a noise reduction option too. So depending on if you want your skin or the contours to be smooth or not smooth, you can go ahead and reduce the noise from like 0 to 100. So I'm just going to go with, say, I don't know, I'm going to go with 20% for now. Um, cause I want it to be pretty smooth, but not like, you know, I don't want to look like a baby's bum. Um, so I've got it at 20% and now I'm going to hit okay. And let's see what happens. It does some magic. And if we move out, it has, it has done a pretty good job. All things considered, this is 10 times the size that it was previously guys. So again, the trick is Photoshop or file, go to preferences Go to Technology Previews, make sure that Enable Preserve Details 2.0 is on. Then when you go to Image Upsize, Image Size, go down to Preserve to, when you're under Resample, pardon me, 
make sure that Preserve Details 2.0 or Preserve Details Enlargement, they're very, very much the same, uh, is on and you're going to get the ability to upsample intelligently. Thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.